Where is it? Out Sam's room, down to the right. What? It's this one here, isn't it? Yes! Grab loose panel. Oh my god, it's the Ouija board. Well, let's take this first of all. Great. Completed the combination and added it to the backpack. That's cool. Well, I'll read that in a second. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Oscar. What do you want to come back? That's really scary. Oh, I hate the idea of Ouija boards. I think they're creepy as hell. Let's grab that and put that back. I, nah. No, in fact, let's let's just leave it off because I need to know what's there and where I've looked and everything. Don't fall over, whatever you do. Wear goggles and rubber gloves when handling anything in this room. Brilliant. Right then. Um, items. To open, turn right three times, stop at the first number. Left once, full turn, passing first number to stop at second number. Turn... oh god. So, right three times, stop at the first number. But maybe that's just... Oh no! There's no number... Right, 051, that's what it is. Seriously. <laughs> there I am doing all that. There you go. Is that Lonnie? Ah, I see. So that's Lonnie. Oh, basement. Lonnie came over today. Oh, basement. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair. Oh, don't smoke. She wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. Ooh. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. But I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's a good, good bit of a story then. Although, look, she's been stealing clothes. <laughs> well, that's good. I like that. That's quite sweet. Bless them. Yeah, it must be hard, actually. Um, you know, society sort of says, you know, it's a man and a woman. It's a man and a woman. And as soon as, you know, there's two women or two men or whatever, it must be difficult to kind of go against the grain. I mean, I've, I've no, never really sort of experienced that myself. But it must be difficult to go against that kind of grain and sort of think, well, is this right? Is this wrong? You know, society, not as a whole. As, well, maybe back in the 90s, it was frowned upon a bit more. Nowadays, you see more gay people together. You know, they're not, not afraid of hiding it. But there's still a lot of prejudices you all probably know. But yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. It does make you think. Well, I want my basement key, don't I? Is that the basement? Huh. I just thought that would be the basement. How the hell did you get to the basement? Is it here? Nope. Right. So that's locked. Let me use the mouse. Upper floor. To the attic. Well, it's not going to be up there, is it? Shit. I hate that noise. It's a TV room. Maybe it's over there. I'll go this way. I think there was a locked door through here, wasn't there? Oh, shame. Why did I turn all the bloody lights off, honestly? There we go. I think this might have just been a closet. Oh, hello. A nice plate. Oh yeah. Severe weather and so on. Oh, I thought that was a person at the end there. Seriously. Um. So yeah. That's a, an interesting, interesting ideas. Did I even go this way? No, I didn't. Katie, please tell Mum and Dad about the stuff. Sorry about the stuff that's missing. Oh, I didn't go this way. Bunch of coupons. 
Save 25 cents. There's loads of them. Grab the die. It's a D6. One. One. <gasps> Snake eyes. Oh, wait, no, it didn't land properly. It doesn't count. Oh, thank God I rolled a three. Okay, highlighters. No, thank you. Hmm. I quite like Sam, actually. It's quite a nice story going on there. Don't know much about the dad. He's just a bit depressed about work and stuff, and uh, the mother seems to be having an affair with this Rick, or liking him. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker, if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6th. After 6th? Samantha, oh, sixth period. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your you are butt. Get ready. Oh, you. <laughs> sure, you can. So you know what they uh. say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. <laughs> At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. No. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked... I followed them outside while they smoked. Tut tut. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. Mm. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. <laughs> she's coming over tomorrow. I think I should have read that earlier. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mum and Dad. The attic. Oh, God. It's all leading up to the attic in the end, isn't it? Nah. Oh, please. 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 This is horrible. I'm walking in the air. I'm walking on the moon with me. Please don't go off. That's too quiet down here. I'm going to have to start singing to keep myself sane. Oh, what's this? Chips, potato chips. Throw that down. Read a note. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially, cordially thank you for having me to your abode for Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavourful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long. But it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, and confidant, Lonnie D. A fancy man. Quiet. <laughs> That's cool. Hello? Oh, man. What's that? Sam and Lonnie. Oh, that's quite pretty. It's different now. Is it? I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. Oh, God. But now when no one else is around... Ah, well, you know. Better. So you Spiders could say we're dating. Look. But it's secret. Secret dating? Secret dating. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, hmm. or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Oh. That's lovely. Caitlin Greenbrier. Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper, write reproductive system worksheet... Number six at the top, then choose one of the two stories and rewrite it. I'm producing the testicles. Okay, right, okay. Fair enough. Tick cross. Alright then. It's a strange sex education thing. Oh god, I don't want to go in here. I'm kind of scared. Lots of boxes that say Katie on them. Hello? Bum, 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 bum. Bloody hell. Old school though. I like it. What's this? In the event of an earthquake, locate gas meter outside house. Turn valve to off position if damage call number for service. Alright. Trying to remember that. Oh balls, I don't want to go over here. I can't even see a light to turn on. Yum de dum de dum de doo lazy dizy dozy dozy dizy dizy. That's creepy. Richard Greenbrier. 
PhD, 1956. Oh dear. I'm probably this is probably like Dear Esther, where nothing scary actually happens. It's just all about the atmosphere. Oh dear. Read college. Oh, we're into 95. Samantha Greenbrier. Dear Samantha, congratulations. Oh, she did get in. I'm pleased to inform you of your admission. Uh, you have much to contribute. Financial aid to cover 75% of the summer programs, tuitions and fees. Oh, so she's gone there then. That's where she'll be. The attached documentation delineates your schedule. Op optional secondary track choices in your dormitory assignment. Okay, cool. Congratulations. I'm so stupid sometimes. Well, we all are. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college oh. summer program thing. And I was all she's making off. plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. Oh. I was like, To war. Ship out? To where? Afghanistan. No. She said, To basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was <laughs> like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, After graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, Let's just have fun while we can. Aww. That seriously sucks. Dear Terence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognised my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalisation of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal Sean... The personal Sean... Okay. Oh, the personal Sean was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime still science fic fictional day ex machina. Sorry. The great authors speak of their life's milieu in clear and honest tones. The lens crystal that refracts their distorts without dis their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily. But I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better with a father's love and encouragement, Richard. So slightly, uh, sort of intellectual, slightly unforgiving father then. He seemed to hate him though, because he cut that face off him, didn't he? I bet that was dad then. Cut the face off that. Oh, that's not good. He obviously isn't happy. Oh, I just looked at that. All these binders. Oh, right, what's this? Certificate of naturalization. Oh, is that Jan? Fair Hazel Brown, Canada. Oh, right, so she's Canadian. And uh, she was naturalised to the US. Oh, that's cool. Mum's citizenship stuff. Shall I go in here first? Toilet. Fuck that. I'll go in here first. Seriously. Yep, smash. I'm standing in the corner. Alright. Nah, don't like this. I'm going too low down. What's this? Grab postcard. Ah, right. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Where's that? Hey, Sam, I'm writing to you from Multnomah Falls, Oregon. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. <laughs> Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this for you in the gift shop. Oh, shit, here you come, Lonnie. <laughs> I awesome. tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Ugh. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Oh dear, so they... But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really mm. afraid that's a whole other story. Well, I think it would be, wouldn't it? Stick with the group, Katie. No, don't. Stick with the group. No, you... Be a... You know, be gay. That's absolutely fine. Is there a creepy ghost in a window anywhere? I bet there is. What's that up in the top window there in the middle? Looks like a scary child holding a map. I don't like that. Right, the shoppers of Main Street were surprised today. Oh, when's this? 1965. Sudden sale of the pharmacy, pharmacy was um, transacted for a song. When asked about speculation that the deal had been signed for as little as one dollar, well, Mr. Samuel Onstein, Oscar's main 
Uh, Oscar Masson's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy told the register the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason had taken sick and was unavailable for comment. So I decided to go to sort of, you know, 1980s or 1960s um, football scores reporter there. Don't think I saw this. Mason's Pharmacy. Okay, right. So we've got loads of Mason's Pharmacy stuff and I don't really understand. Was Mason... Or Masan, or however you pronounce it. Was he the, um... Oh, my God. Kitchen, front door, library, guest room. Was he, like, the person who did... Um... Oh! oh my God, stop doing that, please. Girl Scout. Self. Hmm. Yeah. He was related, wasn't he? Wasn't he the uncle of the father, or something like that? Right, let's put self in, see what it says. See what happens. Oh, Yolanda! Oh my god. Seriously. Um, right. Let's have a look at this. Dear Sam, right, today's Spanish lesson. Oh, right, so it's from Yolanda. I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. Oh, that's probably where that voodoo head thing was from up upstairs. I Sorry, it's probably not a voodoo head. I think, probably. Uh, the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out here in the wilderness, out there in the wilderness together, and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for you when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay, but I tried. What the hell? Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got me to the day before we start driving back north. We'll be... Racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Oh, I see. Amor, Lonnie. Oh, so maybe it's not Yolanda. The hell? Why does it say Yolanda de Soto? Is that Lonnie? Lonnie is Lo Yolanda. Must be. Oh, okay. Never realised. What does that say? X-ray specs. <laughs> Stop it, man. Is there anything under there? No. There was something down here, though, which you're probably all sh screaming and shouting about. Read page. It's like a drug. The first time I was in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. Mm. The clock said 3.13. Her face was spectral in its dim red light. Then I... Why not? What's the noise? What's the noise? What's the noise? Oh, man, I want to read more. Go on. Definitely not reading any more of that. Not going to happen. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I... no. Oh, come on. Well, I'll have to pause it and read it back later then. Let's put that in the bin. So it's basically a sex thing, isn't it? Girl Scout, the, formerly, the band formerly known as Cub Scout. Set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate. Ah, first mate, self. Girl Scout's denial. Cool. Todd's band I'm turning this on singer. while you're talking. There we go. Todd said he sucked. Oh my Lani God. said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, hmm. I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? I know the combination. And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. Oh. And she's actually really amazing. What does she play? I feel she's so... She's singing. Because she's crap. proud when she's on stage. No? Okay. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Aww. Zero fifty one. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh right, so sh she was really, um... Oh look! Oh, so Terry grew up here then. So he's moved back into this house. That's quite cool. Um... So I'm guessing that Lonnie so shipped off... I guess that means she shipped off to... Like, training camp for the army or something. Right, Arbor Hill. First floor plan. So, stairs to basement. Yeah, that's fine. I've done that. Porch, washroom, closet, foyer. So that locked door here leads to all of that. So I've got quite a bit to explore yet. Yeah, that's quite cool. Oh, sorry. I need to find the thing for that. I thought the one I was doing, that 0451 would be it, but it's not. So, yeah, we'll see. Why am I turning that? 
Uh, run through. Turn it on. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh my god. Right, okay. Is there anything in here that I could get or need? It's very dark. Oh, there's a letter down here. Shit. Right, let's go back into the light and read it, shall we? Uh. Order this month. Two cases of brandy. Two cases of rum. T two barrels of whiskey. Governor remains very pleased with enforcement in Boone County. Believe this arrangement shall hold for some time. Wow. March 23. W.R. the hell is that? This is an old house, this. Don't like that. Okay. Let's carry on. So, now I'm going to go down here. Oh my god. Do not want, do not want. Oh, this brings me up. Oh, I bet you anything this brings me up on the... Um, I spat on my screen just a minute ago. I don't know why. Um, I bet you anything this brings me up at the top of... On the other side where I can't get up. In the other house. Shit, don't be weird. Don't be scary or weird. Alright. Hello? Okay, cool. Yeah, so I bet that brings me up on the other side of the locked door. Cool, Bratmobile. Costumes, skeletons and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. That's cool. The Psycho House Girl. Um, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinks you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral vision. Uh, come on. That's a lie to mum and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. She leaves notes all over the place, doesn't she, for, considering she doesn't want her mum and dad to know about it. Oh dear, there's another bit down there I have to look at. All right. Oh, this will be another tape situation. Where is it? What's this? Ooh, women outlaws. She's tougher than a wild Mustang. This will show you who runs about things around this joint. No female is going to tell me. Yag! That's awful. I'll leave that on. What does that say? No sconce or sconce no. Fair enough. There's a dirty old sock. That's a wank sock, isn't it? You can tell. There's a dirty pair of pants. Why is there so many... Why is there so much underwear and pants and stuff all over the place? Just put this in. What is it? Heavens to Betsy Terrorist. Oh my god, that's scary. Noose. Oh, let's listen to it, shall we? Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written. But it does not change my mind on this matter. While Lonnie is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your... Seriously. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following hmm. orders, no question. <laughs> And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? Hmm. About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. Hmm. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. This one's for you, Grossman. No, I don't think she does. Had enough, had enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. Girls to the front, Bratmobile, heaven to Betsy. Cool. No, Lonnie seems strange. Oh, so this is the zine. Oh, okay, fine. So they put together a magazine. Oh, look at that. It's really cool. They've got a nice relationship, haven't they? Oh my god. Well, that was bloody, you know. Right, let's go back over here, because I can there's probably more shit in this room. Since it's still in the basement? No. Okay, it brings us up. This is the same kind of place. Oh my god, do I have to pull a handle to open the door? <gasps> That's cool. Mason's Pharmacy, 1963. <gasps> 1963. 
one nine six three. Right, got it. That's what I'm going to put in on the next thing that I have to put in. Okay, so there's all the all Katie stuff. So I guess this was going to be my room. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, right. So there's another secret passage. This place is bloody brilliant. This house. I mean, it's creepy as hell, but it's bloody brilliant. Shall I go back down there and try that code in the safe? See if it works. What was it? One nine six three. Can't beat good old pen and paper, can you? Oh God, what's all that? Oh right, okay. I have, I've got a feeling that I'm not going to have like jumps and scary ghosts and shit because that's not this game, is it? Although that is horrible. Right, enter the combination. So one, nine, six, nineteen sixty-three. Oops. Three. Oh yeah. Grab a box. What's this? Solution of morphine, morphine tartrate. Maybe habit forming. Oh my god. Give strong coffee, wash out stomach. Wow, so they really had some odd medicines back then, didn't they? Oil of clove. Huh. Ah. I'm sure that was meant to happen. Right, let's Read the letter. Return to sender. Mary Greenburn. Uh, uh, from Oscar. Okay. Dear sister. Oh my god. I write what shall be my last appeal to you. Or oh, go unanswered. One way or the other. I feel a prisoner. on As on an island. With no jailer. No human soul for commune. Only my one mind. Examining itself. Endlessly. Endlessly. Searching for relief. In the years since transgression transgression. I have sought no absolution, only bare forgiveness. I'm good in good faith I have removed myself from all temptation, sacrificed to prove my commitment to heaven I can however I can imagine. Stop doing that. Since mother is uh, passing oh passing I have oh since mother's passing I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin to be treated as human again, to breathe the air of human spirit once more. By grace over a wretch by grace, even a wretch like me could be saved, but I do not expect it. If no response is received, I shall henceforth accept my sentence, and one day simply cease to be. With a brother's love always, Oscar Mason. Oh my god, right. What's this? Aquatilla. Okay, I don't think there's anything else particularly important in here, especially syringes. Jesus, don't muck around with that. Okay. That's nice, isn't it? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Is it this way? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Okay, so clearly Oscar's having trouble with his sister, Mary. How long have I got left on the camera? 30 minutes, that's alright. I wonder if I finish this in this time. It's quite a long game, this. Hope you're all enjoying it. I really am. My bum hurts, but I'm enjoying it. Right, let's go... Not up there. We want to go to the creepy... Oh god, we do, don't we? Shit. I want to go in here. Ugh. 